Although a lot of places nowadays will change a battery for free with purchase, sometimes you find yourself stuck somewhere where you can't get the car to that place that changes it for free and you have to take the battery out yourself. So today we're going to be learning how to change the battery. Most batteries in cars today are still the lead acid batteries that have been used in cars for decades. This particular battery is an absorbed glass mat battery which is a little more reliable than a lead acid battery but you still want to take precautions whichever way, especially if you don't know what kind of battery you're dealing with. Sometimes when a lead acid battery is in poor condition, it's on the verge of spraying acid or busting out the top, so you'll definitely want to wear eye protection. Even if you wear glasses, wear the safety goggles on top of them because the acid in a lead acid battery can easily blind you. Also wear gloves to protect your hands. Whenever you're changing a battery, the negative terminal needs to be the first one off and the last one on. This is because the entire body of the car is a ground or a negative, and if you happen to connect a circuit here and here, nothing is really happening. On the other hand, if you were to accidentally use a wrench to connect this to any other metal part of the car, electricity is going to flow around through that component back around to the other side with very little resistance, so you're gonna see some sparks. Let's start taking off this negative terminal. All right, one thing I noticed right away is that this terminal has been changed and this one looks like the original one. Now, this is my car, I know this to be true, but you can kind of use that as a sense of what has happened to the car. If this one has been changed, odds are that this one's probably going to be changed soon too. And by looking at it, you can see this thing is kind of mangled up and it's already a little loose. So let's try to loosen this up. Oh, yeah, that's prying up. This thing is gonna need to be replaced. But since this is broken, we can just pry it up out of the way. Uh, it seems to be loose enough that we can just slide this off. Yep, and we're all set there. Make sure this stays out of the way and does not come in contact with this post because if it does come in contact with that post and you still connect the positive to something else on the car, then you're still gonna see some sparks and you don't want that. Now we're gonna loosen up this terminal. This one looks brand new almost, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to work with. These are just clamps. When you tighten this, it just squeezes these two together. When you have this tightened for a long time, odds are these are gonna kind of come to a resting position clamped together so sometimes you'll have to get a screwdriver in here flathead usually and pry it back and forth to spread them open but in the process of that you can damage the terminal sometimes even breaking it so be careful especially if you're doing that on the first post and definitely don't mess with the positive side if you haven't disconnected the negative side first this seems to be loose enough so we'll wiggle that and it comes off now this does not want to go anywhere but here, but that's fine because that one is out of the way reliably, so they aren't going to arc. So next we need to get down into here and loosen the bolt that clamps this battery down. Here's where the battery hold down is without the battery in the car. A socket extension comes in real handy on this one. If you're working on a battery that has been leaking a lot of acid, the acid will leak down into here and rust up that bolt and it's gonna be real difficult to get it out. It'll often squeal a lot when you're breaking it loose. They often take a long time to remove too because the bolt can often be pretty long. And now that the battery hold down is removed, you can lift this battery out by the handle. Make sure the handle is still attached. So that's how you disconnect and remove a top post battery from a vehicle. If you have any questions on how to change a battery, especially in a specific vehicle, feel free to ask. In the job that I worked before I started this channel, I changed hundreds of batteries, so I've encountered a lot of these. Also, this is the first video I've made on changing a battery, so if you've come to this and it's been out for a while, check the description. I might have some new battery change videos as well. That battery I pulled out was defective, so I got a new one through the warranty that I have through the store I bought it from. Make sure everything is out of your way and that nothing is going to get trapped by the battery when you set it in. Now, if you were to connect the negative first and then you tighten the positive down, if your wrench hits anything that's a ground on the vehicle, it's going to spark. So I'm going to start with the positive one reassembling. This positive does not want to go all the way down, so I'm going to put something in here to spread it apart. 
I like to take a flathead screwdriver and move it back and forth to spread it open. If your screwdriver isn't really doing a good job of spreading it open, get a bigger one. This one might actually be too big. If you have a traditional acid style battery, you definitely want to get this thing as low as possible so it helps seal this up. Since I don't have that, I'm not going to be worried about that today. But if you get this thing spread open as far as it'll go and it won't go down to the bottom, the other way you can make this fit is to just take it off completely, get one of those battery brushes, and you just keep rotating it until it eats away that terminal, until it's small enough for this to slide on properly. Pretty much all these terminals have a square base to them, so there's a flat portion here that holds this side still. This thing has it spinning. So you see I'm trying to tighten it, and this square just spins and it's not tightening at all. The bolt is just spinning around. We got ourselves a new battery terminal. It is a little bit different than what's on here, but we can make this work. All right. Nothing we can really do with that part. It's bending up, I guess that's the best we can do. We also need to take this off. There we go. If you get a battery terminal from the dealer, you'll be able to just replace this. That's probably the best way to do it. Odds are if you're in a pinch, you won't be able to get to the dealer. You'll get to the local auto parts store, which is where I got this. This and this do not make the ideal amount of contact, but it'll get us to where we need to go until we can buy a proper replacement like this. That's good. That's how to install one of these if you need to rig it up. If you have the OEM one or direct fit one in general, it'll be the same process except you have to do a little less backyard engineering. Once you get the proper one installed, you can put on your battery protectant stuff on the outside. Make sure that you put it on after everything is connected because you don't want it between the clamp and the post. That will actually inhibit electrical flow and it'll make it harder to start up and charge. A lot of batteries have a group size. This one, for example, is a 35 group size. Ah. Ah. That is not a good place to sit down. 